Hello YouTube, this is Master Maverick here, and what you're looking at is the Cool Master Blade Master um, 120 meter fan, which is going to be installed on a Corsair H50 inside of an Anpec Landboy case. Okay, so uh, I just thought I'd take a few minutes just to do a quick unboxing so that everyone can um, see basically what you get because I don't recall seeing an actual unboxing video. Okay, I'm back. So once again, uh, this is the Blade Master uh, from Cool Master. So I've gone ahead and removed the uh, plastic packaging. So now I'm removing the actual fan. So it looks pretty nice. Um, I've actually already unboxed one of these. So, let me just point out that this comes with the um, four prong plug and it doesn't come with any adapter. So, um, if you need to connect it to a regular Molex connector, um, you might want to look into uh, getting that separate, which I'm sure you should be able to find in places like um, eBay. Anyway, here we have, we have four screws and a couple of these little rubber pads and basically uh, the idea behind these rubber pads is that um, first of all they're sticky on the back so you can actually apply them directly on the fan and what they'll do is, is they'll actually prevent um, vibration of the um, of the fan so you know it's not making noise you know that's basically it that's that's all that comes with the uh, blade master so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, you know complete the installation, and I'll see you then. Hello again, this is Maverick here. Just uh, give me a little look at my rig. I have the uh, Intel i5 2500K Sandy Bridge uh, CPU sitting under the um, Corsair H50 water block. I have an NVIDIA 660 Ti graphics card. It's the uh, factory overclocked version from uh, Gigabyte. Here's my memory. And let me show you. This is my hard drive setup. This is all inside of the Antec Landboy, the most modular case you might ever find. I tell people that this is the last case I will ever buy. All right, so um, getting back to the installation here. Here I've gone ahead and installed the uh, the Blade Master. So you can see uh, I have the other one installed in the rear. I did have to make one modification because the screws for the H50 they're a little short. So I had to eliminate the washers that actually came with it. So um, that's how I went ahead and I installed it. I also took one of the fans that I had there before and I decided to put it along the top. Maybe I'll get a little bit more airflow going. Now, what you are looking at there are one of these. These are the disposable foot socks that you get when you go to try on a pair of shoes at a shoe store. They serve me very well as a filter to, uh, you know, help keep the um, to keep the fan blades clean. They work uh, very effectively, and um, all you have to do is just take your vacuum cleaner and just uh, vacuum the filter, and uh, you're good to go. So every now and then I got to do a little maintenance. Of course, I do also have an electric air blower, um, which helps a lot. I also have these um, filters along the front of the tower, as you can see by that uh, round kind of circle that is dust in there, and I just clean that, so um, that's just to give you an idea, if you can see it, how much dust actually collects in there, I also have that on the uh, side fan, so if you don't want to be a slave uh, to the fans and 
always cleaning your system like I try to keep my system clean so I'll, I'll have to take it outside and just use the electric duster and you'll just see the cloud of smoke come out of there but anyway um, so I'm gonna stop this video now and I'm gonna hook this bad boy up hello once again here I have everything all set up and including the uh, the blade master I've gone ahead and installed the uh, the filter on it it should be running cleaner and uh, as I said you know I, you can go ahead and uh, you know use those um, disposable socks you know and they, they work really well so all I have to do is vacuum that when it gets uh, when it gets dirty but I won't have to you know go inside the blades or really worry about you know uh, taking the fan out so I can clean the radiator as much so it works pretty well so here it is again here's my uh, my rig now everything is running I also forgot to mention that I have a Samsung SSD 830 and uh, that's on sale right now on the wig.com and BH Photo so it's a 256 gig drive so uh, you definitely might want to go check that out and uh, here along the top is my other fan so I'm gonna run this like this uh, hopefully it'll it'll yield some good results so here we have our temperatures uh, the highest being uh, 79 Celsius, the minimum being 39, and the current temperature which is 41 uh, Celsius. So um, this is running under a hardware monitor, and um, and the reason we got the such high temperature is because I was running a stress test uh, using the Intel burn test, and I tested max memory, which of course that raises the uh, the t temperature uh, significantly. Not that uh, that I had stability issues or anything like that. I was trying to test it up for the. Uh, I had this on for the simple purpose of uh, just seeing how hot the CPU would get. And it, you know, the temperature on it, you know, it went up and uh, you know made its way to 79. The CPU uh, got pretty cool right away, so the temperature went down on it, you know, pretty fast uh, after the test was over. Okay, so, um, and of course, I, I have the system running at about 4.5 gigahertz. The voltage I had to use was at about uh, 1.36. So, um, just to give you an idea. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I got, a, I got to run it. Uh, it's, it's been running great. I mean, I've already, um, I've already ran the uh, stability test and uh, and it's been uh, it's been fine ever since so um, well there you have it you, you know the uh, the drop in temperature uh, is, as opposed to my previous fan was probably about five degrees or so so it wasn't a great great drop but it was a drop nonetheless and of course I read great reviews about the uh, blade master I mean I chose it you know because of the uh, the airflow and for the noise level because they they did have um, fans that were rated much higher but also made a lot of noise so I didn't want a lot of noise if noise isn't a problem for you then you know maybe you might want to go with one of the other fans as shown in uh, Tom's hardware uh, the forums there so they were uh, they were very informative and that's pretty much all I got to say uh, thank you so much for watching my video and you have a great day